elections been a fiasco, we're only slightly more popular than the anti-European monster flying raving yogic party. <coughs> Pabic Ock and Pish, they're saying it's my fault we lost, and that you lot are plotting to replace me. Are you? Well, it is all your fault, Gordon. The on-off election, the tax climb down, now the terror bill. You've done more U-turns than a one-armed swimmer. Well, if a job's worth doing, it's worth doing thoroughly badly. Oh, oh, and you don't trust us to do our jobs. I mean, you write my policies, you announce my policies, you even went to my doctor's appointment this morning. Ah, yes. Good news. You're not pregnant, just overweight and male. <sighs> Without a personnel change, we'll lose again. Perhaps you are right. Former Home Secretary. What? It's time I reshuffled the cabinet to people I can trust. Send in... The clones! Let the era of multi brown rectitude commence! I'd like to see how this could go wrong. Right. Own up! Who's been briefing against me? Was it you, Gordon? It was probably Gordon. It wasn't me! It was Gordon and Gordon. They were plotting against Gordon. They were! I saw oh, don't start. You can't pick up my son. I, I saw you! They hate me too. How am I going to win the election now? <gasps> oh, election? You're going to trust the voter with voting? Maybe we need some new voters. Okay, everybody, vote Gordon. Vote Gordon. You know it makes sense. I'd like to see how this can go wrong. I can't believe this. All you have to do is tax the poor, back of the economy, and destroy the housing market, and people vote against you. Never mind, Gordon. Make it better with a nice cup of tea. Oh, God bless you, Gordon. At least I can trust you. Poison! <laughs> Let the leadership battle commence! Vote for me, I'm a sympathetic leader of the law. Special power for me, I'm a ultimate leader. Vote for me, I'm a leader of the law. And now for a statement from the Prime Minister. It is said that the Labour Party is split. Not so. My cabinet have stood right behind me as one. And did this. <laughs> Mr. Blair, it's your 12.30. Oh, hi. Satan, how's it hanging? Tickety-boo, thanks for asking. You know, I never realised before what a dead ringer for Piers Morgan you really are. Yes, I get that a lot. So anyway, I just popped by to ask how things have been since you left office. Well, I've made ten million quid. Met the Pope, I've just bought my sixth house, and people have stopped calling me a lying war criminal because Gordon is making such a bollocks of everything! <laughs> exactly as I promised. So, under the terms of our agreement, I believe I can collect now. <laughs> collect what? Your soul. <laughs> oh, good luck finding it. Damn, it's John Bloody Barrowman all over again.